Welcome to Inspired Living with Mark and Kim. Every Wednesday, Mark and Kim, along with their special guests, will explore thought-provoking topics and ideas that promote creativity, self-help, healing, happiness, and well-being to inspire you on your spiritual journey. Each week, Mark and Kim will discuss different paths to achieving a more spiritual, balanced, happy, and healthy lifestyle. Topics will elevate consciousness and range from metaphysics to the human and social experience and all things spiritual. Welcome to an inspired community that offers support, encouragement, and new ways of thinking. Mark and Kim are tested, certified, and professional spiritual mediums, metaphysical teachers, healers, and spiritual advisors with their own individual spiritual practices in Seattle, Washington, and Los Angeles, California. You are the inspired and the inspiration. All right, good afternoon, everybody. Good morning, good evening, wherever you're at in this beautiful world. This is Inspired Living Radio. Kim, are you on the line? Okay, we might be having some technical difficulties here. Lynn, are you on the line? I am. Hello. Good to meet you. Good. Nice to meet you. Thanks for uh, coming on. I I apologize. We are having a little bit of technical difficulties here. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, Well, you know what? With our spirituality, we'll just push that out of the way and push the new paradigm in. (laughs) Right, Mark? (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. So um, we'll just give it a a minute here for uh, Kim to uh, get on the line and join us. And we are in a full moon, so it doesn't surprise me when we uh, have. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I know. uh, Right. Yeah. Okay, so just bear with me here. So just want to give out a a nice big welcome to our inspired listeners out there all around the world. Uh, We uh, thank you for joining us here today on Inspired Living Radio with Mark and Kim over on Ohm Times Radio, the voice of consciousness. I am your host, Mark Lanehart, the Intuitive Prospector, and I'm here in Seattle, Washington. If you want to learn more about the work that I do in spirituality, mediumship, metaphysics, mindfulness, or meditation, please visit my site at marklanehart.com. You can also do an internet search for the Intuitive Prospector, and I would love to work with you. Um, as far as uh, upcoming events that I have coming up, and we're just waiting for Kim to get on, on the line here as soon as she can. She's having some technical difficulties as well calling in. Uh, but I want to let folks know if you're up in the Vancouver, British Columbia area on June 23rd through the 25th, I will be in Coquitlam, uh, British Columbia for a spiritual weekend, uh, which will include a mediumship demonstration open to the public and a gallery which is a lot of fun a lot of great healing and messages that can come through in two hours on a friday night and then on saturday we will be doing a a mediumship workshop so if you are more if you're interested in in joining us up there on june 23rd and 25th please visit marklanehart.com and you can also uh, find me on facebook under the intuitive prospector with links to get tickets to that i did just get back from uh denver colorado for a spiritual weekend so i just want to thank uh my colleague down in denver cynthia rose uh who invited me down and hosted the event and it was a great night of uh spiritual mediumship and a lot of messages came through and then we did a workshop on uh intuition So if you want to call in and talk with our very special guest who I'm going to bring on here in just a second, uh, you can call in to 1-202-570-7057. That is the number here in the United States. So if you're international, if you want to head over to our Facebook page, which is Inspired Living Radio, you can post your question there. And we would love to bring either your question live to the air or if you want to call in and talk with uh, our special guest, Uh, Kim or myself, we'd love to have you call in. You can also find us on social media, which is Facebook, Inspired Living Radio, Twitter and Instagram at Inspired For Us, that's the number four, or Google Plus Communities under Inspired Living with Mark and Kim. And we run an encore show every, uh, we have the live show every Wisdom Wednesday at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern here on Ohm Times Radio. It's our internet show. But if you want to catch an encore show, we can be found now on iTunes, YouTube, SoundCloud, Podbeam, Ohm Times Radio Archives, MarkLeanHeart.com, or LoveFirst.info. Our positive affirmation Thank for you. this month Uh, Being that we're in the month of June, our June positive affirmation is, I love so many things about my life, and we'll be talking about that 
all the month of June. Again, I love so many things about my life. And I did hear a little voice off in the distance, and I think that might be Kim calling in from <laughs> Los Angeles, California. Kim, are you on all right? I sure am, Mark. I don't know what was happening this morning, but uh, we're not in another retrograde or something, are we? <laughs> no, but we did just get over a nice full moon cycle. Okay, something's going on, but I'm here and I'm so happy to be here. Anyways, I don't want to interrupt. You're doing a fine job. I don't know where you <laughs> left off there. I have inspired <laughs> affirmation. So. Yeah, actually just letting our inspired listening community know where they can find us, how they can post their questions, they can call in and talk with us. Uh, just sharing some of the events and my experience getting back from uh, Denver, Colorado, which was an amazing experience. I got to go to the Red Rocks, which if you've ever been to the Red Rocks in California yeah. or in uh, Colorado, um, it's uh, it was an amazing experience and uh, just uh, a lot of fun. But actually perfect time, Kim, because I just finished up uh, giving our positive affirmation and our uh, guest, Lynn, is uh, patiently waiting. So if you want to, I'll just turn it over to you. I'll turn it back over to you and uh, let you run with the show. Yes, thank you so much, Mark. It's good to be here. It's good to be back on air and uh, live from Los Angeles, California. This is, you know, my home my home base here. So it's good good to be back. Of course, the sun is out as usual. <laughs> and it's a nice day. And um, awesome. I'm always happy to be here on our Wisdom Wednesday. So glad to hear you had a great time in Denver, Mark. I saw all the pictures and um, yeah. you're doing some good work out there for spirit. As you have mentioned, I'm Kim Falcon, founder of my spiritual practice, Love First, with offices in Richmond and in Chino. So today, as I said earlier, I have the pleasure of being back, and um, it's always nice to be back. But if there's anything that I can do to support you through readings, healings, or hypnosis, you can always find me at lovefirst.info. I am seeing clients here in L.A., so if you'd like to schedule some time with me while I'm out here, you may do that as well. I would love to uh, spend some time with you. And um, today we have a really a special show ahead of us because this is the first of its kind really where we are dedicating this hour to animal rights and anytime you say animals it's always near and dear to my heart and so um, I'd love to uh, bring on our guest for today who is Lynn Moss. She's a former New York actress and voiceover artist. She's a writer of women's medieval uh, issues and she has also a passion for creating documentaries. Um, she is psychic, she's clairvoyant, clairaudient, clairsentient, and she has dedicated her life to protecting animals all over the world. And she's done that throughout the US and also um, Europe. And uh, she teaches people how to be an agent for change so that the animals and humanity can live in balance and harmony. And she cherishes the role animals play in helping humanity to raise consciousness. Lynn, thank you so much for being here with us today and for helping us understand what's going on around the world with um, the animal kingdom and, uh, most importantly, what it is that we can do um, on an individual level to help create change for our animals. So thank you for being here. So talk to us, Lynn. Talk, talk to us a little bit about your your background. It's like you were in uh, the entertainment industry. It looks like you've yes. still got some projects you're interested in, and now yes. um, fully devoted to animal rights. It's a it's a right. great thing. Oh, it's and you know I think as you two do, there's a thread throughout all of our lives, and you know we just follow that thread. And when we're younger, the thread may be purple, and as we grow older, it may be green, and then we move into our senior years, and it's chartreuse or something. So I'm just I'm on call, you know, Kim and Mark and listeners. I'm on call for whatever spirit would like for me to do to serve the planet, and especially, as you mentioned, Kim, that was a tremendous intro, thank you, to serve the animals, because in my heart, the animals are avatars. They are very evolved, advanced beings, and the reason I say this, and proof of this, is that what what being would choose 
to come to earth and be boiled and burned and butchered and starved and and left for dead and all these unattractive things that are happening to the animals worldwide unless they knew that there was some higher purpose and that's what we're going to talk about today we're going to talk about the light within the animals and their role in pushing the light in us forward because in my understanding and my experience the animals are already where humanity needs to be i think they are our teachers oh. and Yes, and I think it would serve us well to humble ourselves to their truth and their knowledge and their love. And what we're going to get into today with the huge topic right around the corner of stopping the dog and cat meat trade in Yule in China, when you look into the eyes of these dogs that are bound that are laying on the ground, whose limbs have been removed, if you just focus on their eyes, connect with the light in their eyes, you will see their evolvement. I mean, the question might be, how is it possible that with all this that has happened, if we say to one particular dog named Saint, that this animal, which is not an animal at the larger spiritual level, only in form, is able to shine all this light through his or her eyes. It's because of the evolvement, the advancement, the understanding that they have at what Nikola Tesla called the quantum physics level. And that's not anything to be afraid of. This is not uh, science beyond human capability. Quantum physics lives in our heart. And it is well, let's oh let's hold that thought for a moment, Lynn. That's our first lead yes. into our break. Okay. And then when we um, sure. in two minutes we'll be back and we'll okay. continue our conversation about the animal kingdom. So stay with us. All right. Thank you. The future of Internet radio is here. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Searching for a perspective beyond the mainstream? Check it out. Join your hosts, Elito Pasquale and Diana Gold Holland, on Share International Radio for thought provoking views behind the news. Sundays at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern, on Ohm Times Radio. You can also find us at shareontheairradio.org. This may be the message of hope you've been waiting for. Are you seeking answers to life questions? Would you like to connect to a departed loved one? Are you suffering from pain, stress, or anxiety? Kimberly Thalkin is a tested, certified, and professional psychic, spiritual medium, energy healer, hypnotherapist, and the founder of Love First, where life transformations happen. Love First services support, guide, and empower individuals by connecting them to their highest potential to live a healthier, joyful, and meaningful life that's filled with purpose. All services can be done by phone, Skype, or in person in Encino, California. Please visit lovefirst.info. That's L-O-V-E-F-I-R-S-T dot info for more information. There are many sounds in your daily life. Ones that make you smile. <laughs> Ones that help you relax. And there are some sounds that can help save lives. 
Wireless emergency alerts. Now on many mobile devices, use a unique sound and vibration to bring you critical information about emergencies in your area. With updates from local sources you know and trust, you can be in the know wherever you are. Learn more at ready.gov slash alerts. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. And welcome back to Inspired Living with Mark and Kim and our guest today, Lynn Moss. And we are talking about animal rights and some of the atrocities that's going on out there in the world today um, and what we need to be aware of in terms of um, what's happening, but also be aware of and more mindful of how the animal kingdom actually serves us because they do play just a tremendous role in our consciousness and what it is that they teach us. So Lynn, before we went to break, you started talking mm-hmm. about um, yes. the dog meat uh, uh, trade all over the world, and particularly as it relates to what would have been an upcoming event, or as they call mm-hmm. it, festival, which is right. highly what you know one would think of when they think of a festival, which is right. the UN uh, Dog uh, Meat Festival. So Mm -hmm. talk to us, because there's all kinds of things happening um, Mm -hmm. with the animal uh, kingdom today. Let's let's take kind of one issue at a time there. And I know uh, just for the listening audience, too, Lynn um, called me because she was aware of our show, and the Mm -hmm. Ulan Dog Meat Festival was coming up, um, I think, around the 20th of uh, June this month in a couple weeks. And she wanted to get the word out there and um, draw awareness to this horrible, horrible uh, event that was, was uh, going to take place in the next couple of weeks. And I, and I said, absolutely, because there are things that we could do to mm-hmm. help um, petition the end of that. And there has been some good news since you and I talked, but uh, you know, we just wanted to continue on with the show because there are many other yeah. things that are happening with animals too. But let's just take mm-hmm. the dog meat trade for uh, example. Sure. Talk to us what's going mm-hmm. on with you and and where it is today because there has been some mm-hmm. good news out there around this. Yes, indeed. So let me backtrack just a little bit to say I was tootling around on my smartphone and I saw this horrific picture and it was in Yulin, China, of a dog in just a horrible, horrible situation. And then I looked further down, and I found this man named Mark Ching, who is the creator of Animal Hope and Wellness out of L.A. just want to talk about Mark for a little bit as a lead-in. He turned to his wife, and he said, I don't know what I'm going to do how I'm going to do it, but I have to get involved. He took his passport and his backpack over to China and began asking questions and eventually ended up in slaughterhouses in China. That was two years ago. Today, Mark is one of the people who has gotten permission from the Chinese government to stop the trucks coming in from the rest of China into Yulin, where the festival is, which is really more of a massacre, as we know. And uh, when they stop the trucks, they're allowed to pull the cages off the trucks with the dogs and some cats. And if the animals, which 90% of them are, are microchipped because they're stolen pets and they're pure breeds as well, uh, then that is a crime according to the Chinese government, because they are a property and someone's property has been stolen. So this is... But does this mean, huge. though, does this mean, mm-hmm. Lynn, that any yes. uh, other animals might uh, stray dogs or uh, mm-hmm. might still be subjected to this cruelty? Oh, absolutely. So just, oh, d- yes. Okay, so just so the listeners know, the Yulin sure. um, d- Dog f- a Festival is... Mm-hmm. Uh, where they, you might have, our listeners may have seen pictures because it has been gaining more and more, um, there have been more and more awareness 
things out right. there to draw attention to this, but the dogs mm-hmm. are literally crammed packed in cages on top of each mm-hmm. other where they can't stand or move, and right. they are um, tortured as they mm-hmm. are killed for their meat. Okay, so right. and the, the, there is a reason why um, it's important that the animals are not just killed humanely, but rather tortured. Mm-hmm. And that reason would right. be, Lynn, what would yes. that reason okay. be? So there are several reasons for that. We could talk general or we could talk specific. And since I'm now 71, I'm going to tell both. And one may be a little bit uncomfortable to listen to. So the Chinese people, the Asian people who are doing this to the animals, and we're also doing it right here in the United States in 44 states, believe that the meat of the animal is more tender through the torture. And the reason for that is because hormones are being released. And that, according to the Chinese, is actually a sign of medicine. Because they feel in a way, Mm -hmm. yes, exactly. And in addition to the dogs being ground up for meat, they're also put into herbs. So this is an an ancient tradition. Yeah, exactly. Now, Mm -hmm. the other reason that Mm -hmm. I want to mention, which um, may be a little bit more risque, but it's part of the story, Chinese men believe that the torture of these dogs will enhance sexual performance. And Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. did you know that? I know, Mark. Yeah, no, I knew that. Yes. You know, the Chinese have all kinds of beliefs around things like that. We see that in Mm -hmm. with other animals and stuff too, like the tigers and Mm -hmm. all kinds of things that come from ancient, Mm -hmm. uh, ancient, uh, traditions or b- belief right. systems, and right. this kind of thing is also, as I understand, happening in South Korea as well. There's oh, yes. a dog meat trade there too, mm-hmm. where there are actually dog ranchers. Uh, I guess is what you would you call them. So the, right. the good news is there is some um, some changes and shifting in this um, ideology yes. in China around mm-hmm. the dogs that are stolen. But the dogs right. that are not microchipped are still subject to this type of oh, yes. cruelty. Oh, okay. yes. Ab- so, absolutely. Um, mm-hmm. y- yes. And um, mm-hmm. there even, you know, my first step into animal rights was uh, mm-hmm. many years ago, but as it relates to the mm-hmm. fur industry. Right. And right. Um, which these dogs, uh, dogs mm-hmm. and I think cats too, are also being sure. used very much for that purpose for the in the name right. of fashion. So oh, definitely. Um, there's, yes. Yes, and um, mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever th- seen anything so atrocious as I have mm-hmm. with the fur industry mm-hmm. in China, which is how mm-hmm. I understand it. Seventy five percent of fur comes from yeah. China, where the animals yeah. are literally skinned alive. Oh, yes. And oh, left yes. there without yes. their fur, sure. panting and breathing as mm-hmm. just like uh, like you would oh, see geez. a piece of meat in the superstore yes. with eyes, yes. you know, in the supermarket yes. with eyes and breathing. I it know. is the cruelest thing I've ever seen. So, oh, um, it is. So disturbing, Lynn, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, and it's let actually me, disturbing. It, it, it is. Let me just mention, with my recent trip to L.A., it was brought to my attention that this fur is now coming in to our country and is actually being woven into our handbags and into Mm. other products and that this is not nationally known. And so there will be a meeting, those of you that are in the L.A. area, on June 29, before the council, where members of the animal rights community familiar with this um, illegal fur coming into the United States are going to be presenting different facets of this issue to the council to get a ban on this to get a resolution passed, which is what's happening Mm -hmm. in the United States now for um, Mm -hmm. 
the dog meat trade. There, there's now in Congress, it's called H.R. 30, and I learned about that at the Q&A Yulin event held by Mark Ching in L.A. several weeks ago. And there are about five different Congress people, both Democrats and Republicans, who are really pushing this forward. It was, it was put out there, and then it was just reintroduced by um, Representative Hastings because, as uh, Shannon Dougherty said, who was at the Q&A event a few weeks ago, we need to clean up our side of the street, which means if we're telling China you can't do it, then, you know, we can't do it either. I mean, it shouldn't be done anyway because as far as I'm concerned, as a member of a Holocaust family and crimes against humanity. This is crimes against animals and it's crimes against the planet and it's 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 just criminal any which way we look at it and it has to stop, you know. Um and what you were saying before, I have a little list here, Kim and Mark, of the different countries that are beginning to ban the trade and those that are still very active in the trade. So the good news is Thailand Hong Kong, the Philippines, Taiwan are those countries which are now putting into effect dog and cat meat bans. And those countries still active are China, as we know, South Korea, as you mentioned, Kim, Vietnam, and Indonesia. And, Mm. um, yeah, right. And they estimate in China about 30 million Dogs are butchered annually, a year. Mm-hmm. 30 million dogs a year, yeah, right. Dogs. I know, and mm-hmm. left in the cat world. Okay, so Lynn, um, we're touching on some really important um, pieces of information here around sure. uh, the dog uh, meat industry, and we're going to mm-hmm. be, be back in this two-minute break here, so everybody stay sure. with us as we continue this conversation that needs to be had. Right. The cutting edge of Conscious Radio, Om Times Radio, IOM FM. Have you wondered how to change your love paradigm? The secret key is finding a love partnership, not just a regular connection. How do you find these? Through conscious relationships. Ascending Hearts Dating is a dating site for people like you that believes in second chances and a different type of spiritual connection. Try Ascending Hearts for free at ascendinghearts.com and change your love paradigm. Ascending Hearts, the premier dating community for the spiritually awake. Eros Evolution is where sexuality and spirituality meets. Join me, clinical sexologist Martha Tara Lee, on Eros Evolution on Thursdays, 4 p.m. Eastern, on Own Times Radio. One planet, 7.3 billion people, only one you. Life offers us many opportunities and learning experiences. Are you ready to explore and discover this beautiful planet, the life and energy all around us? the spiritual world, and what is unseen, along with your own personal soul adventure? Mark Lanehart, the intuitive prospector, is the spiritual connection you have been prospecting for. Internationally known as a tested and professional clairvoyant medium and spiritual advisor, Mark's work as a metaphysical teacher, medical instructor, radio show host, inspirational writer, and hiking guide are here to help you on a journey of self-discovery, healing, inspiration, education, and a whole lot of spiritual awesomeness. Dare to dream. Dare to explore. Dare to live. For more information on Mark's spiritual practice in Seattle, Washington, please visit marklanehart.com or internet search The Intuitive Prospector. America's service members and veterans are strong forged out of bravery, sacrifice, and duty. Sometimes reaching out for help can be the most challenging and worthwhile mission of all. When you recognize something isn't right, make the call to the Veterans Crisis Line or Military Crisis Line. Dial 1-800-273-8255 and press 1. And 
and welcome back to Inspired Living Radio with Mark and Kim. And thank you so much for joining us here every Wisdom Wednesday on Home Times Radio. We have our very special guest today, Lynn Moss, former New York actress and voiceover artist, writer of women's medieval issues. Uh, it says in your bio here, Lynn, that you're a new yes. documentary filmmaker as well. So I want to yes. get to uh, talking about that. But uh, before we went uh-huh. to the break, just talking about the sure. horrific treatment yes of animals in the millions, but starting to see that shift of, you know, um, seeing animals for, you know, more than just food and fur and using, you know, the quantum physics to help create that shift. Because I know um, you might know this better than I do, but there was a country that Mm. just banned the ivory trade. I I don't know if that was China, but the elephant ivory trade, they just... uh, updated that as well so they stopped mm-hmm. killing elephants just for their ivory i want to say excellent yes I, I, I no i can't remember what country it was but i did read that mm-hmm. recently um right but let's talk about not just mm-hmm. the dogs and your knowledge sure. uh, but maybe the treatment of you know i know horses are used for meat Absolutely. and glue uh Absolutely. pigs you know pigs is, is a big industry oh it's a huge industry and i can very Oh, my goodness, Mark and Kim, I can so clearly talk to the pig industry because I was in Vernon, California, two weeks ago at the uh, pig vigil, which happens every Sunday night in Vernon, just outside of L.A., from 10 at night to 1 in the morning, where industrial trucks filled with four layers of six-month-old pigs are driven across country. These pigs have had no water, no food. Their limbs have been broken. They're lying on top of each other. They're lying in their fecal matter, and and the fecal matter is pouring out of the windows of the trucks. I mean, this is just an absolutely insane and uncivilized situation. And what we Mm -hmm. have been granted, the animal activists, is to have two minutes standing opposite Farmer John's slaughterhouse to give these sweet, sentient beings water. And we go up to these slight windows and we're able to push through a water bottle or some people come with large water containers strapped on their backs with a hose attached so they can stand back and get many pigs at once. And some of the pigs are so terrified they don't they don't recognize the water now what i want to say here which i think would be very interesting for your listeners is i know a little bit of sanskrit and i began to sing sanskrit to the pigs and i was told that four pigs at the other end of the truck came over which i didn't see because i was focused on the pigs in front of me What I would like to do with your listeners is to invite you all to follow me in this Sanskrit chant. And what this will do is it raises the frequency. We're back to quantum physics and Nikola Tesla. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. as the frequency is raised, that can incorporate the perpetrators, you know, who are responsible for all of this because it's all about the light. It's all about the opening of the heart. And at this level, it's all about profit. So if we can move from beyond, from how about this, Kim and Mark and listeners, if we can move from P-R-O-F-I-T to P-R-O-P-H-E-T, which is what I think the animals Hmm. are. I think they're (laughs) prophets at that level. Right. Prophets, yeah. So, Yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to um, say this chant, and then I'll invite all of you to follow along with me. And it's ancient Sanskrit. It means unity, peace, harmony, flow. And it goes like this. And if you, Kim and Mark, would also like to join in, we, you know, that would give the, the listeners maybe a little more courage. The three of us could say it together. Would you like to? Well, I would love to. And, and, and just... what are we saying exactly? Okay. Yeah, and, and say it, um, the words. What are the words? 
Okay, so the first word is A N as in Nancy, I, on I. And the second on, word on I? is he. Yeah. Do you know it, Mark? I, I don't, uh, but I'm, I'm always I'm always wanting to learn something new, so I'm oh, writing it okay. down. So O O N I is the first word. O N I Oscar Nancy Actually, India. It, well, no, <laughs> that's a good try, but it's A. It's Apple Nancy India. A N I. Apple. Okay, and it's pronounced An I. That's right. That's right. Oh, and then I. actually there's an I. And then there's a hyphen. And then the second word is okay. U, H U, like human, you know. And and so you can I raise I. your an I U an I U exactly. An I U. Okay. Right. So if we on the count of three, if we all want to chime in together, and this is great because any time this is said the frequency on the planet is raised, and this is um, going on to the grid, which is all around the planet. So here we go. One, two, right, three. On I, Yeah. And, you know, I I participated um, silently. I was saying that (laughs) in my mind. All right, that counts. <laughs> it certainly counts. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, and then I also, you know, as far as what people can do. So here, keeping in line with the Anaihu, I learned this many years ago from a group called Spiritual Frontiers Fellowship in Seattle, Mark. Actually, at the Baptist Church okay. on Capitol Hill, and oh, um, okay. this is. Okay, this is a sweet, sweet little song, and if listeners, you would like to join in or write it down, and any time well, you sing. Well, um, Lynn, you know what I sure. think might be helpful is if you want to send us the the lyrics to the song, we can post that on Facebook, but what are some mm-hmm. of the things that listeners can do, like, legislative-wise? And okay. I know that that takes a long time, and your heart comes from a pure place that you'd like people to be doing things now using quantum physics sure. to create change. And we're going to be right. posting some of this on Facebook. If you want to sure. send through the lyrics of the song, sure. that would be yeah. great. Um, sure. But what are some sure. of the other things that listeners can do, um, yes. you know, with with local legislation or national yes. legislation, things Absolutely. like that? Okay. So – Focus on, it's called H.R. House Resolution 30. And this is what is being promoted immediately through Representative Hastings and about five of his colleagues. And Resolution 30 is the one that is focused in our country because we have 44 states that do allow the consumption of dog and cat meat. And uh, so that is one issue. Now, another individual, Chris DeRose, who started Last Chance for Animals. Yes, yes. I do know Chris. I've actually done a a fur protest with Chris. Oh, fantastic. Well, Kim, you probably, great. So you probably know Chris approaches this from a slightly different angle. And the different angle is he's looking at it from the justice perspective. He doesn't line up, as he says, necessarily with the animal rights activists the way, you know, we might think of ourselves as animal rights activists. He's coming from the justice angle. And any angle you come from to help stop this torture on the planet is fantastic. And so, you know, I would suggest for people to um, to get online and look up Krista Rose and Last Chance for Animals. Now, there is going to be a huge event in L.A. called Safari Night, where Krista Rose will be part of it and also coming up um, actually on June 9, there is going to be this nationwide protest for the dog and cat meat trade at the Chinese Consulate General's uh, Department in K-Town. 
in L.A. And um, Mark has just been so behind this, and Chris has been so behind this, and I Stand With My Pack has been so behind this. There are organizations I haven't even heard of that are rolling up their shirts. So I didn't, I didn't know that. I did not know that the dog meat was allowed here in the U.S. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, we, uh, I had no idea. But it's not yeah. it's not sold in stores or anything. It's just allowed or what? Well, you know, I don't have the answer to that, but I would not be surprised. I have to tell you that the way I found out about this was in the most unusual way. I was calling to make my airline reservation to come down to L.A. for the Q&A event, the Yulin Q&A event by Mark Ching. And um, the woman who was helping me with my ticket said, well, I'm from Alaska, and we have dog meat eating in Alaska. And I was horrified. I said, tell me about that. And she said, well, okay. we, live near, yeah, we live near the e- Filipino e- community. Yeah. And oh, she right. Said, yes, yes. Yes. And they they do that. She said they, they do it you know, behind cover, so it's not out there like it is in China, but they do it. Um, and right. so this is an in- – right, right, yeah. This and, is you know, the thing too. I want to just raise awareness to as well, as important mm-hmm. and, and as much as we love our dogs, because, boy, they yeah. uh, they sure do do a lot for us, there's sure. a lot that can be done, too, with um, farm animal rights because, Absolutely. Um, you know, the cows mm-hmm. and the pigs, Everything, yes. all the animals that are being farmed, mm-hmm. boy, I tell you, they um, oh, yeah. they could use our support too. So if, if people, oh, absolutely. you know, w- listening here would like to sure. get involved in protecting mm-hmm. all of the meat trade, right? Uh, right. Please look into farm animal rights, and that's our mm-hmm. uh, last break for the show. We'll be back in two I minutes know. as we continue our conversation <laughs> with animal rights. <laughs> Bringing a more conscious lifestyle to your world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Om Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment. A philanthropic organization, their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Home Times, co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. Join me, Tammy Adams, intuitive life coach and spiritual healer, for my new show, Karma Talk. Learn how to get rid of your karma so that you can start living the life you are meant to live. I am not going to tell you what you want to hear, but what you need to hear. Join me on Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time for Karma Talk on Om Time Radio. Hello, I'm Sandy Sedgbeer, host of Own Times Radio's What Is Going On show. If you've been on a spiritual journey and know yourself to be more than just your body, mind and emotions, yet still struggle to fully love yourself and the life you're living, if you experience childhood challenges that continue to play out as limiting patterns in your daily life, if you long for success in your relationships and career but keep finding it eludes you, I invite you to join me on the free Journey Back to Love Symposium that I'm co-hosting June 18th to 24th. You'll get valuable insights, tools, practical processes and gifts from eight internationally renowned teachers and speakers that would not only dramatically shift your perceptions about love, but also help you understand and integrate all those places where you may have secretly believed that you were broken. So if you're ready to transform your beliefs about love, success and freedom, and finally put all your perceived limitations, fears and failures in your relationships and life behind you, visit thejourneybacktolove.com and join me on this free life-transforming journey back to love. I look forward to seeing you there. I am Fidel Mshombo. I was born in a city called the Bukavu in the Congo. We were a loving family and then boom! Everything that I had disappeared in a single day. People think that when you are a refugee and they recycle you to America, and all your problems are done. They don't understand that that's the beginning of everything. 
I was not born a refugee. I was made one. It's time we welcome refugee families with open arms. Learn more at EmbraceRefugees.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council. Hey, Inspired listeners, welcome back. We're in the last section of our show. It always goes by so quick when we're uh, talking about interesting topics like we're talking today with our guest, Lynn Moss, uh, an animal rights activist. So we, were, we went right to break there, Lynn. Uh, let's pick yeah. up right uh, after the break here talking about mm-hmm. legislation, uh, what people can sure. do to change animal rights. I know here in mm-hmm. Washington State, I'm proud to yeah. say that you know any animal cruelties is no longer a misdemeanor mm-hmm. but a felony. Uh, the and you know what, Mark? Bill, so, I uh, was part of that. I, the, I'm the one who helped to change that. Awesome. Well, thank you for doing that, and I totally agree with the law. Yeah, yes. the, you know, anybody that harms animals or, or tortures mm-hmm. animals, uh, it definitely has to be right. a felony, not a misdemeanor. But let's pick that up Absolutely. about how people can make change and what, and how they can get involved. So this is this – is, um, a little bit of a different read on on what you know we're we're putting out there as far as the animals are concerned. Um, I want to take it to a deeper, higher level and give an overview, like give a, a pyramidal perspective. Why this is happening to the animals, like you mentioned, Kim, no animal is extinct, whether they're dogs in the dog trade, whether they're farm animals, whether they're stray animals, whether they're bears in bio farms or tigers having pictures taken of for selfies or the canned uh, lion killing in Africa. It all comes down to the fact that every animal in my opinion, is a healer. And I've had personal experience with that because my life was saved by my Siamese cat. And so if we look at, like we were saying earlier, the problems in the world and the time period that I'm from, the 60s, and both Kennedys and Martin Luther King were assassinated, that's what I see is happening to the animals across the globe. It doesn't matter the breed is a major assassination. The question is why? And the answer is because they are healers, they are representatives of the light. And it's been said, and here we go to the other level, that our planet does not belong to humans, that there are off-planet beings that feel this is their planet, they want it back, And supposedly they live inside the earth and they've been here for millions and gazillions of years. And they're saying, okay, your time is up, our time is now, and we're going to do everything to just eradicate anything related to your, you know, your essence, animals, humans, whatever. I mean, human trafficking, animal trafficking, it's, it's one thread like we were saying earlier. So what can we do about this? This is where we go into quantum physics, and I invite everyone to have a peek into this technique called matrix energetics, which talks about the zero-point field and collapsing the wave. What is the zero-point field? The zero-point field is the place of all possibility. It is the place where throughout the universe... All of us are connected. It doesn't matter whether we're a beetle or whether we're John Kennedy or whether we're a flower. We all have the essence within us of connection because we're all spirit. We're all light. And if that is the message that I leave, you know, the listeners with today, that will be an important message. Mm. And if you feel a little bit like, well, yeah, that's a little bit woo-woo, if you feel like your cage has been rattled a little bit, good. That's good because when the cage is rattled, then we move beyond the stagnation and something, you know, um, shifts. And that's what we want. We want, I know, Mark, Kim, you were asking about legislation, and my feeling about that is it takes too long. 
and because I'm Jewish, I'm going to say this in Yiddish, the animals don't have time to putt. The putzing time is over. They're dying right here, right now, with their limbs and everything else that's going on. And so how can we affect change immediately? It's going into the quantum, and it's envisioning. If Kim and Mark and I and the listeners all hold a vision that we are beyond this animal cruelty dilemma on planet Earth, and envision showers of light coming, streaming onto the planet. And talk to Archangel Michael about this, who is the remover of obstacles. Talk to your animal totem, um, your totem animals about this. Talk to whoever is your spirit guide to bring this into effect. And the truth of the matter is, it is already in effect. Already the animals are not dying and suffering anymore because it's happening only in this timeline, in the 3D earth plane timeline. But there's so many other timelines that are out there. And we know that when our animal friends die, they cross the rainbow bridge. And where do they go? They go into the light. They go into these other timelines. So let's just see that this light is just, you know, when we talk about consuming, that this light is consuming our planet now. It's going into every nook and crevice and cranny. The animals, the humans, the perpetrators, the violators. You know, Robert, I was listening to Robert Kennedy before coming on to the show in his wonderful speech, which I recommend everyone listen to. It's called the Mindless Menace of Violence speech that he made in 1968. And he talks about mm -hmm. the total, right, the total cleansing of our society. That's what we need. And he says, the worst kind of violence is the violence of institutions, of inaction, of indifference, of decay. And this is true, you know. So it's like, let's just so. leave all of that. What's that, Mark? Yes. I just say let's very much so. Just, yes. Let's just leave all of that, you know, right where it is. And, and move from the 3D into the fourth dimension, the fifth dimension, however far you can envision yourself being in these other dimensions. And before we run out of time, I want to recommend books which will support yes, this please. thinking. Okay, thank you. So we have Mystery of the White Lions, Children of the Sun God by Linda Tucker. And Linda's work has told her that the white lions on the planet are the protectors of the planet. And moving on from there, we have beings that are called the leonine beings. And they can be found in the book Awakening by Mary Rodwell. Then we also have Lynn McTaggart's book, The Field. She comes at it for more of a scientific purpose, but it's all the same in the long run. And I want to recommend an incredible DVD, which is called Alien Encounters and the Aerial School Incident. And this is about a young girl in Australia, if any of you remember, uh, who John Mack actually visited this uh, school that had aliens drop down and the students were all kind of taken to where the ships were and they all uh, had this experience. Well, one of the children now is about 20 years old and she has become basically an artist of off-planet beings and her story and her artwork is in this uh, DVD. It's amazing. And then when you were asking about legislation, I want to talk about Sean Munson, who is there in L.A., and maybe you know him. He's a documentary filmmaker. He made Earthlings and he made Unity. And Earthlings is very graphic about what we've been talking about, but um, it's getting the word out there and it's raising awareness. And then uh, one of the final things I want to say, I'm, I know we're running against the clock, is this Sanskrit expression, Beirush Beishan, which means, so Beirush is inexhaustible without limits, and Beishan is the blessings are substance and life, and put together, it's Beirush Beishan, the blessings always have, do, and will exist. And then to add to that, they say that we can walk in the light and still walk in darkness, 
and the Sanskrit word for universal sound current is SAR, is, excuse me, SATNAM, S A T N A M. And so if you're singing on a hue, you can just couple that with nam because then you'll you'll be bringing in the peace, the unity, the harmony with Anahu, but you'll be also including nam the universal sound current, which is supposed to be um, in my training and my work also uh, as a clairvoyant, the the really nuts and bolts of of spirituality. That sound can break through anything, and I happen to know this to be true when I was in Hawaii with my mother and we went to a lecture about the Navy putting these harnesses around the whales and the whales got together with their sonar and they popped the harnesses off their necks. Animals are capable of extraordinary what we call in Yiddish mitzvahs which are miracles and we mm-hmm. need to get out of their way and let them carry on with their miracles. Well, we're- well, Lynn, we're going to have to leave it there. Uh, it's a great way to finish up. I think, uh, you know, I think of Anthony Douglas Williams when he says, we have more to learn from animals than animals have to learn from us. And loving yeah. animals means loving not all animals, not just the ones that we share in our homes, but loving all animals. So thank you so much, right. Lynn, for being on Inspired Living Radio. Our thank next you. week's guest is going to be Yogi. Anthony, thank you. And we're going to be talking about the Yogi Code. So until then... Have a great week, everybody. Thanks for listening. Thanks again, Lynn. And be kind to the animals and be aware of the animal world. So be kind, be caring, be compassionate, and we'll leave it with Ani Hu. (laughs) 